Hey everyone, Nintendo. this is Lucky7DX, and welcome to a new LP, quite possibly one of the most requested LPs that I've ever really had. I mean, plenty of people have been requesting this, and I don't really know why you guys have been requesting this, because it's Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, a game which I said I would be playing way back in like Super Smash Saga. I was like, I'm going to do the whole series, so... People really didn't need to request this game, it was gonna happen anyway, but it's still the most requested game, I suppose, so there's that. Um, I really love this game, definitely my favorite of the three. Se of, of the three. Um, obviously the, the most recent game in the series, as of now, I mean, maybe a couple years from now, there'll be a new one, hopefully there'll be a new one for the 3DS, that'd be really cool. I love this series, I really hope they just keep going if it's not just like a trilogy. Um, but with that, I mean, we might as well get started in a little bit. Um, I love the I love the whole uh, thing here, the whole Mira, M Mushroom Kingdom, Bowser's Kingdom, because... This is sort of a tale of two kingdoms. You have you know, your usual Mario and Luigi, but as you're going to see later, there's this a nice couple little twists to this game that really make it pretty cool in my opinion. So, um, Toad Town, hey, you've recovered pretty nicely from the shrubs, although that kind of happened way back in the past, and it also looks completely different from the one, but that's how it always is in every game, you know? All the usual typical landmarks are always completely different from game to game. It's just how it goes. I don't know if it's just like the cliche thing or just they just do that because I don't know. But we're gonna follow the chronicles of this young Toad. He's clearly the main character. Not really, but one can dream. Um, so of course he's skipping school because he's such a he's such a good little Toad. You know, why don't you go ahead and teach the kids to go skip school? But also, so the weird thing is, so this kid, kids skip school. So obviously, you know, school should be still going, but it's currently dinner time. So. When do toads eat dinner? Do they have like night classes? Do they eat, eat, eat dinner at 2 o'clock? This is clearly something I am overthinking by a lot, but yeek! Oh no, something has happened to Dad! Dad, no! No! You've, you've, you've become obese? What? That is a humongous toad! Well, actually, that's how the plot is. Um, the plot, well, actually, luckily, a subplot, because this should be really awkward to have as the main plot. Um, basically, all the toads have got. Uh, have contracted a disease called the Blorbs, which make them become giant and they start rolling around and it's just a bad time. I mean, I, I don't know, that just that just does not look comfortable having to roll around. That'd be really tragic, you'd be like super huge, you couldn't do anything except just sit there and be fat. I don't know if this is like Nintendo's way of saying, hey America, stop being so obese, but um, that's basically the uh, subplot I suppose. Um, the context of which make a meeting occur, and it's just the beginning, the beginning of this crazy plot. I mean, when you have, when you've had, you know, al um, aliens, or not aliens, when you've, well, when you've had aliens in the past, and you've had, you know, people stealing people's voices and stuff like that, you know, giant fat toads, not really too much of a stretch from there. They just, it's just your typical crazy Mario and Luigi plot that makes no sense and just random. Like, I feel like they're just trying, like, each game they try to set the randomness bar just a little bit higher. And you know what? I'm okay with that. Because it's what makes this game so charming. It's just the, like, ridiculous what the hellness of it. The hellness. That's apparently now, like, an adjective or something. Uh, but this is Starlo, a very important character. Um, I guess I might as well spoil a little bit ahead. But basically, she's going to end up being our uh, replacement to uh, Stuffwell, a.k.a. the suitcase thing, which is good because, you know what, having a suitcase for a partner, kind of weird. Having a star spirit, you know, I'm okay with that. That's pretty cool. But she's actually, um, it's a she, by the way. Um, actually, I like her as, as a character. She's kind of pretty cool. Um, she's not really anywhere as obnoxious as other past characters have been. So, you know what? All in all, Starla's a plus in my book. But, um, basically, I'm not, I don't really care about anything about the meeting. The meeting's just kind of fluff filler at the moment, because it's like, oh, they're arguing over stuff. At least there's Toadsworth. There is Toadsworth, and I'm happy about that, because Toadsworth is awesome. And anything that involves Toadsworth is, is good. I mean, Toadsworth does not nearly have as much of a role at, um, as he does in Partners in Time, which is kind of unfortunate, but he does have a role, and that's, you know, that's fine. It's still, you know, he's still there. So all is well. Um, so... They're all just, everyone's just kind of getting all heated over the discussion because no one knows how to solve the blorbs or how it was caused or anything. It's just a tragic thing. All the toads will soon be fat. I don't know why Princess Peach is worried or Starlo. They're not toads. They're not going to care. Peach isn't going to suddenly get fat. She'll just have to go rule some other kingdom with her naivety and ability to get kidnapped often. I don't know. However, of course, we're going to um, cut to our main heroes, Mario and, uh, well, Luigi, of course. Ooh. As usual, we'll be playing the comic relief here as he tries to get... What? What? Okay, when... Do you get dressed while you walk places? That doesn't work. You're supposed to get dressed before you leave. I mean, they had to walk from their house over to the ca the castle, so... Was he just going without pants? I don't know. I guess Luigi would be the kind of person to just go somewhere without pants. Like, pants? Eh, I'm Luigi. 
doesn't matter. I'm going to be going through all the tutorials in the next few episodes, so um, do realize that the game is going to start a little slow just because it's going to be a lot of tutorial refreshers, just because I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to go through all the tutorials this time. I don't know if I have in the past or not, I forget. But I'm just going to, anyway, um, A and B, as usual, A controls Mario, B controls Luigi. Um, the, the Mario Bros. controls really have not changed much uh, since the old days. Um, as, as in Partisan Time, though, you can't switch around uh, like you could in Super Star Saga, so it does follow pretty close to the uh, Partisan in Time formula in terms of Mario and Luigi. No babies, though. No babies. There's something better instead of the babies. If you guys know anything about the game, you know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to try to not say it and not spoil it until it happens. Um... But basically, as you can see, uh, well, like I said, A causes Mario to jump, B causes Luigi to jump. Nice thing this time is they actually put um, the health on the action commands, which is pretty cool. So I actually approve of that. I like having the health just like right there. Um, I think that's a good place to put it, especially since uh, it, um, back in uh, for my recording, I had to uh, you know, keep it on one screen and the health was on the other screen. That was kind of a little bummer. But now you guys can actually keep track of the health as we go, which is a little bit better. Um, the way they use the two screens in this game, I actually like it a lot. Um, they, they use the two screens a lot more creative. It's not like going to be like a map on the top screen at all times, uh, like there was back in Partners in Time. They use the two screens a bit differently, and they use it very well. I think they use, I think this is really like, you know, a very, very, like the epitome of using, you know, DS dual screen, um, cleverness, I suppose, if that made any sort of sense. I don't know, this is a save block, it saves your stuff, what else do I need to talk about it for? Not really anything. Um, as usual, we'll get a little uh, description, though, as we go, so... Um, the other thing that really kind of bugs me is it, it, is it gets you out of the save thing before you can read the description, which is like, Hey, I'm, I was reading that! I was reading that! Come on! I'll try to show these off as much as I can. They don't do them as often as they did back in, uh... The Whatchamacallit, back in Partisan Time. Um, they just, they're, they're just like, eh, it's fluff, who cares? Um, anyway, this fat... You're blocking the way! Stupid blorb toad! Anyway, so we're going to the conference hall, because Mario and Luigi are fashionably late. I mean, when you've saved the princes that many times, I think you can be late to meetings as much as you want. That just, that, that, I think you have the right to do that when you've saved the princess. Well, maybe not Luigi. He hasn't really done much of anything besides these games. And Luigi's Mansion. And I'm sure there's probably other games, but whatever. Um, so, what's, what, um, basically the more meeting stuff. So they figure out, oh, the Borbs were sold by a guy, um, uh, 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 um, well, just, just read this for a second. Logic! What could cause the blorbs? Oh, I don't know. Maybe those blorb mushrooms people were getting or were buying. I mean, if you're like, oh, hey, my neighbor has the blorb. Oh, you're selling blorb mushrooms? Oh, those those wouldn't give me the blorbs. No, toads deserve it. If you're gonna buy blorb mushrooms and be like, why do we have the blorbs? It just logic in this game. You really just shouldn't use it. It's supposed to be stupid logic just because, you know, that's what they do. They put stupid logic in because it's funny. It's just like, what the hell? Okay, let's just keep moving on. Anyway, Bowser's is upset because he wasn't invited to the meeting. I don't know, when you've kidnapped the princess every single time you've been anywhere within like 10 feet of her, uh, you might not get invited to meetings. Just saying. Uh, Bar wow, he just tried to kill Princess Peach. That's kind of rude. You know, then again, they've invited him for like kart races and tennis matches and soccer games, so, and parties for that, for that matter. So why would they want to invite him to a meeting? I don't know. But as usual, guys, um, Bowser's going to be our little guinea pig for the whole, uh, you know, fight. Uh, the, he, he's always, like, the tutorial fighter, so... Basically, I guess I might as well explain the whole fight. It's, it's like I said, it's pretty much unchanged from uh, the, all the other Mario and uh, Luigi ones. I guess the only difference is uh, you can do a double jump. Um, it's very similar to the double jump you can do with the babies back in Partners in Time, except that you just do it with Mario, so it's just A and then A. Um, you get rated, you get a good, great, or excellent rating. Um, obviously the higher the rating, the more damage you've done, but the rating itself isn't important yet. It will be important for a certain mechanic that we're going to get introduced way later in the game. Uh, so practice now, try to get your excellence as much as you can. Um, as, you, as you're going to see, uh, an excellent will do 4 damage, a great will do 3 damage, so it does do more damage the, you know, the more precise you are. Um, we'll explain text, why do it? No, I'm going to explain more. I already went through one tutorial. Like, one tutorial is fine, two tutorials, no, that's just stupid. Um, so yeah, just get the, uh, the good and the excellent, and that, um, well, you'll do more damage that way. So, for now, that's all we need to really need to worry about in terms of those. Um, of course, well, it wouldn't be a Mario Luigi game if you weren't dodging attacks as well, so press A to uh, jump over them. Now, all these, um, which we're going to learn later, Luigi just does all this with B. So, um, speaking of Luigi, I love how, you know, Bowser's attacking, he's just, he just doesn't care, he's just like, I'm going back to sleep. He just, he sleeps this entire time. Also, I love how Toadsworth is like, attack him! And Bowser's like, you don't tell me what to do, Toadsworth, I know you're a cool character and all, but you do not tell me what to do. 
Um, and that's basically how it goes. So, just, just your basic tutorial fight. I mean, nothing much to expect. This is what you've pretty much had every single Mario and Luigi game thus far. Luigi's just sitting there sleeping. He's scratching his ass while he sleeps. That's that's a bit weird. I, 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 I actually haven't really paid that much attention to Luigi. Like, you look down at him occasionally and be like, oh, he's doing something, but, you know, he's obviously not the focus when you're in the middle of a fight with Bowser. I do like Bowser's character model in this game, though. It looks really nice. Um, the, just the graphics in general just seem a bit more sharp than uh, Partners in Time. The animations, you know, Mario is just do, like, doing his little walking around while he's waiting for an attack and stuff like that. Just the little touches of this game that really make it come together nicely. Of course, we haven't even gotten to like all the stuff that really like makes this game amazing, um, which we will actually get to pretty soon. Uh, I'll certainly be going on a rant about that quite shortly. For now, we're just finishing this guy off. Um, shouldn't take a few more. Just you know, it's, a, it's it's just like a little warm up. You know, they give you plenty of time to just you know, warm up your fingers, get used to the whole timing of the jumps again because you know it's been a while. So uh, there we go. Bowser's down. Nothing too tricky. Mario versus Bowser. I mean, we've come to expect that in a Mario and Luigi game. However, this is where things get just a little bit weird. Luigi's still sleeping. That's just funny. So, uh, apparently Bowser was weakened by Peach's wish power. When did Peach have powers? Why has she never used this wish power to stop Bowser from kidnapping? And she's, she's levitating him now. When did Peach have psychic powers? And why has she never used them to prevent herself from getting kidnapped? Like, this one is like, oh, yeah, I have psychic powers. Huh. Whoop, there goes Bowser. And just shenanigans. But speaking of Bowser, this game is called Bowser's Inside Story. Not be necessarily because of what's going to happen later, um, which you guys will know, well you'll, well, you'll see very soon. Um, but the other reason for it is really, in my opinion, this is Bowser's story. This is Bowser's moment to shine because he is a playable character. Um, you know, he levels up the same as Mario and Luigi. It's Mario, Luigi, and Bowser this time are the three characters you get. And really, I personally think that Bowser takes the focus of this game. They really do not focus too much on Mario and Luigi. In fact, Mario and Luigi are just sort of there to help Bowser in a way. You'll see, you'll see what I mean soon enough. Um, but Bowser really does take the focus of this game, I think. I think he's the main protagonist in the end. And that's great because, you know, there's been so many games where Bowser is just sort of like, you know, the laughing stock of the world. And in this game, he's like just a freaking awesome badass who just like, it just, it's a great way to get a look into Bowser. It makes him a really interesting, he's a really great anti-hero in the end. And I really do think they, they did his character very well. This game is like, this game like redeems Bowser in so many ways. And that is why I love this game so much. Because Bowser is a cool character, a very underappreciated character because he's always in the cast of a dumb villain. But when he's dumb and anti-hero instead, things become pretty interesting, you know? I, I always found the, the dumb anti-hero character type, you know, really to be really pretty cool. Anyways, Miles explained the controls. Bowser controls with X and Y, as opposed to uh, Mario and Luigi being A and B. Um, Bowser is basically, he can punch with Y, and he can shoot fire using punch of Y, and he can punch with X, and he can shoot fire using Y. Um, as you can see, you can hold the fire in for a while until he runs out of energy, although you will be stunned for a tiny bit if you do that. Um, but usually it's not a big deal, you just really need short bursts of fire to accomplish anything. There's very rare cases where you need to do a long burst of fire. Um, but yeah, so X and Y, uh, the controls are Bowser as usual. They'll also be his controls in combat, although we're not going to have any combat with Bowser for just a little bit. Um, we're still into intro plot, this is just like a little like preview of, hey, Bowser, and that voice sounds familiar. The other reason why I love this game, the villain, the true villain this time, we know of him, we've seen him plenty of times, he had a minor role in Partners in Time, he had a major role in Superstar Saga, our villain of today is, well, it doesn't really explain yet, but it's Fawful basically, if you haven't recognized the voice, and the whole, the whole text, you know, all the crazy weird English, te well not even weird English, just like weirdly phrased text, I say to you, yes, like, just, that is great because he's the villain, so he, you said that you'll have such fury line, like, he's just very, like, the, the people were like, we want Fawful back in the game, and the people were just like, you know what, he's gonna be the main villain this time, which is great because he does make a very good, we um, weird villain, he has, you know, his crazy backwards plots, and by the way, don't eat the mushroom, it's obviously a trap, I mean, the last time I ate an oddly mushroom, I got bean fever back in freaking... Superstar Saga, but nope, Bowser doesn't listen, he eats the mushroom, and of course it's part of uh, Fawful's, Fawful's flan, I was about to say Fawful's flan, it's part of Fawful's plan here, um, all of his craziness, yep, there he is in all of his glory, of his new costume, it's no longer kind of a bit sketchy, it's a more of a normal emperor sort of costume, and all of a sudden Bowser starts inhaling everything, that probably is a problem, oh boy, he just ate the pipes! 
Apparently, the thing also makes him miniaturize everything he eats, which is going to, well, be important. So, obviously, what's going to happen is um, he's going to be sent to the Peach's Castle, and crazy shenanigans shall occur. So, they're like, okay, well, we're going to redo the meeting. We don't, no one cares about Bowser. He broke the table. What a douchebag. Luigi is still sleeping, though. But, yeah, Fawful. Just such a great villain. We're going to have so much fun uh, with all of his dialogue and all of his craziness. He really does make this game a lot more entertaining, in my opinion. Um, and all the voice acting in this game is pretty cool, too. So, Fawful's voice, Luigi's voice, Mario's voice, pretty awesome. But Bowser just ate everyone! Like, that's... that's not good, Warf. That's a really weird inhaling sound. Yes, that's right, we have all been eaten by Bowser. That's the main plot point, actually. Bowser's inside the sword because we're going to be spending most of the story inside Bowser. Luigi finally wakes up after he, he still was asleep after everyone got eaten. He's trying to fly in typical Luigi breaking gravity fashion, but of course, even Luigi cannot defeat the laws of physics. Everyone's inside Bowser. What's going to happen now? Even Bowser's dead. Everyone is dead. Fawful has won. What's going to happen? Well, find out next time, guys. This is Lucky70X signing out. See you later. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this LP. I know I will. See you guys next time for craziness.